Hi guys, welcome to my humble abode. Um, my name is Uche and this is my very first YouTube video, so please bear with me, okay? You might see me stumble a little bit. So let's get right into it. Do you it. ever feel like you're going against the grain? Going against the norm? Basically, I'm going to be traveling in about a month and rather than buying a round trip, I just decided I'm just going to buy a one-way ticket and see what happens. I'm going to be going to Ghana and maybe Nigeria. That's where I'm from. So shout out to the fam in Nigeria. There tends to be a stigma around traveling at this age. People often associate 30s with family, you know, young families, which is true which is not a bad thing but it's just not ideal for everybody everybody has their own stage everybody has their own I progress. traveled a little bit when i was in my early 20s and i actually traveled mostly within canada i did a little bit of backpacking in bc newfoundland new brunswick nova scotia but now i am ready to leave this country just like most people I thought that traveling long term was for the privileged. I never I never thought there was any way I could sustain myself long term traveling because it just seemed like something I guess in this modern day and age only digital nomads could do and in order to get there you need to have acquired enough funds in your bank basically, you know what I mean? So anyways, I'm going to be traveling soon and I started thinking about how I'm going against the grain because I'm traveling at the stage in my life where people are assumed to have already I settled down. Have found a better age to travel. Like honestly, when I was traveling in my mid 20s, I felt like I was I knew what I was doing, but I wasn't quite sure of myself. In so many ways I was lost. There were a lot of things that I did back then that I did without structure and I just found that I could have had better guidance doing it you know what I mean but it's all a learning curve this is all part of the journey so there are no regrets whatsoever and I'm quite happy that I did it when I did it but now I'm ready finally to embark on a new journey and you know just get out there and chase my dreams and uh, not have any sort of worry or fear that I'm not gonna make it and that tends to be what is the most common misconception is that if you're traveling at this age it's because you're lost you know it's because you don't know what you want to do and it's because you don't want to settle down and you're not ready to have a life but what if traveling at this age is you giving yourself that life that you've always dreamed of i feel like this is something that if you're gonna do it you should do it if you are a person who is stuck confused and wondering whether or not you should travel I highly encourage it because you will never know if you don't try. And I know that's a common phrase, but honestly, it couldn't be more accurate. So go out there and explore and just be happy doing it. Seriously. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I got to say. Um, I will have more videos to come. Hopefully, I'll make a lot more videos before I travel. Um... I think I will actually, uh, just to just so you guys can get used to me, um, and also so I can get more comfortable in front of the camera because I don't know if you noticed, but your girl's a bit awkward. <laughs> if you're that person that has been wondering all along whether or not you should be also traveling, you should at least explore it. Go out there and explore it and see. I know that because of COVID, things are a lot more difficult. Borders are restricted, and mobility is just limited. So, you know. It's going to be harder. I don't think that should stop anybody from traveling and experiencing what it is that they've always wanted to experience. So, yeah. Anyways, so, yeah. Thank you very much for stopping by, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.